This is um, Dance of the Decade, man. This yeah. is some of the photos um, um, that were taken in the decade. My name's Daryl Curtis. I'm a dancer. I'm a student as well, studying dance at university. The number is, that's me. And that's Drew. Um, we're in the Queensmay outside Primark doing, I think, what's that called? Oh, yeah, In the Curves. Um, some people from Ron Bear came down and they taught us some kind Ron Bear, um, a contemporary ballet dance company. Basically, I used to play basketball back in the day. Um, yeah, and I also I did um, art and design at college, and I was going to go to university for, um, to do graphic design because that was um, what I wanted to do. That was the thing I wanted to uh, get work out of as well. Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you know what it was cool? Do you know what it was cool? I'm making up a piece with my friend Danny. Um, Move it. It's a big like, it's a big dance convention thing, um, and also Creative Academy. Our uni is performing it as well. There's a freestyle stage, so me and my friend Danny made up a few routines to perform. See if we can win the prize. I first started dancing when I saw a music video of this guy doing um, a move called the Crip Walk, which um, started in was it Jamaica? It started in Jamaica. Um, I think, yeah, that was the thing that influenced me. And then obviously from then, then I've I've learned about choreographers and um, hip hop champions. Oh, sorry, um, popping champions, locking champions. I enjoy performing in front of um, in front of people, in front of crowds, big crowds. And not just that, but uh, um, dancing helps me escape, you could say, reality, like my own little bubble. And when I dance, I can't hear anyone else. Daryl, how did you feel the first time you started dancing? Um, it was new at first. It was very hard, like everything. Um, much that was challenging as well, but I think because I'm passionate about dance, um, it gave me the drive to want to be better. See, um, that's Hayley down there, that's our ballet teacher. Yeah, she's amazing, she's wicked. He's wearing a dress. If he is, well. <laughs> Trust me, we've all had to make, be made to wear um, worse things, man. That's where those gold tight pants. It's crazy. Daryl, how intense do you think um, dancing is compared to basketball? Yeah, <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um, it's intense. I wouldn't say as intense as basketball training because um, it's, it's a different type of training. They're not trying to make you flexible. Freedom of expression, so um, freedom of expression is is a way to escape reality. I think, like I said before, like I dance to escape reality. So I can't when I'm dancing. It's like I can't see anyone else there, which is sometimes it's perfect if that makes sense. And um, I don't know. It's a it's a good feeling as well. So freedom of expression is to anyone. It's like what it's a it's a it's a feeling good expression if that makes sense. Well, look at me, right? I was doing something, I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but not to the, my fullest, if that makes sense. And when I, when I took a path into dance, it was a hobby at first. And, um, and now I'm at university. Second year, graduating in June, and then being accepted into my third year as well. So, like, it is possible to take a different route down, um, like, you know, taking your hobby path, if that makes sense. Because, you know, I've only got one life. <laughs>
and don't you don't have to be like everyone else. Be there, be the outcast, be original, be different. So and that can be anything. To dance, to music, to art. It's whatever your choice is.